afternoon. Welcome to MK Local News and Awareness UK3. Primary schools to reopen from June the 1st at earliest, but age groups will be phased. Schools nationwide have been shut since the start of the lockdown on March the 23rd, 2020. But this evening, Boris Johnson confirmed steps are being made to reopen them. Primary school could begin to be reopened to all children from June the 1st. Boris Johnson said this evening, Educa education facilities have only been open to the children of key workers since the UK went into lockdown over the coronavirus pandemic on March the 23rd. But the Prime Minister speaking to the nation this evening said primary schools could be in a position to be reopened by June the 1st after the half term. But it will be faced by Mr Johnson warned beginning with reception year one and year six. Remaining primary school year groups could be added at later dates. Secondary school pupils in England will not resume lessons at all before the summer. It is understood schools have been closed since March. Only year 10 and 12 are scheduled to return to schools before September in the Prime Minister's lockdown roadmap. Government officials said the realistic time period for secondary schools lesson to re fully resume is September. Education is developed and at this stage it is not clear if the government in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland are planning on the same reopening strategy. Johnson said at the earliest by June the 1st after half term, we believe we may be in a position to begin the phase reopening of shops and to get primary schools pupils back into schools. In stages beginning with reception year one and year six, our ambition is that secondary pupils facing exams next year will get at least some time with their teachers before the holidays and we will shortly be setting out detailed guidance on how to make it work in schools and shops on transport after laying out three steps to reopen parts of the country including the hospitality sector in july mr johnson stressed throughout this period of the next two months we will be driven not to mere hope or economic necessity we are going to be driven by the science the data and public health and I must stress, again, that this is all con conditional. It all depends on a series of big ifs. It depends on all of us, the entire country, to follow the advice to observe social distancing and to keep the R uh, <coughs> R8 level down. In a video statement, Welsh Minister Mark Drakeford stressed that the advice had not changed in Wales. Boris Johnson said he hoped primary schools would reopen for March of from, from June the first. This evening the Prime Minister has set out the minor changes which are proposed to the lockdown rules in England. Over the next three weeks, Mr Drakeford said I set out the mo modest changes to stay the stay at home regulations we are making in Wales in fri on Friday. These will come into force tomorrow afternoon. Here in Wales, we will change the regulations so people can exercise more often and allow garden centres to open. If they can comply with social distancing, his advice has not changed in Wales. He said people in Wales must stay at home wherever possible and remain local if they do need to leave home for work, exercise or shopping. Mr Drakeford added that schools in Wales would not return to normal on June the 1st. Trump has also said in his briefing that the USA should end their relation with China. Advice has not changed in Wales. Donald Trump is making some seriously racist accusations and comments in his briefings currently. So he has been bound from running some briefings sometimes in the White House, Washington. He said, said people in Wales must stay at home wherever possible, First Minister Marks said and remain local if they need to leave home for work, exercise or shopping. Mr Drakeford added that schools in Wales should not return to normal on June the 1st. When all Butlins open again, but to do if you have a holiday booked, there are lots of options for Butlins customers who have a holiday booked or want to make a booking for their in-year-per-year -year holiday parks across the UK, have been closed since March as part of the coronavirus lockdown measures. Thousands of people have missed their holidays as it is still not permitted for Brits to spend the night anywhere other than their own home. While people in England can now go on day trips, drive into an outdoor location for exercise, 
it might be a couple more months before they can enjoy a proper staycation. Here's when Butlins is planning to reopen and the following options it is offering customers amid the ongoing crisis. When will Butlins open again? Butlins is hoping to reopen its parks on the 2nd of July 2020, but it will be following government guidance and this state may be pushed back into the meantime. Butlins has adopted a coronavirus book with confidence, guarantee that applies to all new and existing bookings for 2020 and 2021. This means that if you cannot go on your holiday due to coronavirus, whether you're self-isolating, the government restricts travel, or you just feel unsafe, you can request a full refund or transfer your holidays to the new date in 2020 or 2021 without charge. If you're not sure what your new dates will be, you can also request credit, so your local or regional payment can go towards a new holiday. When you're ready to rework, what happens if your Butlins holiday is cancelled? If you have a Butlins holiday booked before 2nd of July 2020, you should wait for the team to get in touch with you. Customer service representatives are contacting people in order of their holiday date and offering them the in-book option to rebook, take credit or get a refund. If you rebook to a later date, you will receive a £50 voucher as a thank you. And if you opt for cheaper dates, the difference in price will be refunded to you. In your arrival date passes and you have not heard from Butlins, your money is still protected and you will get the same options. When you are eventually contacting Good Morning Britain guest abruptly leaves interview after clashing with Piers Morgan. MP Papius Elwood disappeared from the live link on GMB just as Piers Morgan challenged him over the latest coronavirus news. Full stop. Plans to reopen primary schools in England do not have adequate safety measures and need to be halted, warns an alliance of school teachers unions. A joint education union statement called Coronavirus Outbreak Mapped Confirmed Cases Today 4,385,530 Today plus 1,631 new cases Deaths 301,075 Recovered 1,587,893 today, plus 3,964, sent John Ambulance to make 250 staff redundant. Autism makes COVID coping with lockdown extra hard. Less than 40% of Brits understand they stay alert, control the virus, save lives. News reporter Dwayne Hart and Kellogg Commission Awareness UK3. Autism will make coping with coronavirus incredibly difficult and young people with autism, some may even go to school.